In this presentation, we're going to reconcile our year-end forms, our 941s, our 940, our W3s, and our W2s, as well as our payroll register and our earnings records. We, in essence, want to be as secure as possible that all of these reports are filled out as well as possible. And that'll save time because if they're not filled out well, most likely we'll be going back and digging in, in them to fix problems in the future, which can be a very cumbersome task. It's much easier to get it right the first time when we fill this stuff out. So it's worthwhile to kind of verify everything as best we can before checking, turning everything in. Uh, and, and the easiest thing we can do, or one of the best verifications is just to be able to reconcile what we have. We should be able to look at our numbers and say, I see how these things relate. I see where these numbers are coming from. And then if we find an error, at least we know what, what we did. We know what's tying out and we can then have a better idea of how to fix it. So once again, we're going to, we have our payroll register. We're going to scroll up top and make sure the panes are frozen because we will be looking at the totals at the bottom. We're going to put our cursor on A4, then go to the view tab, the windows group and freeze the panes. And we are really going to be working down uh, at the bottom here to our reconciling screen and looking at this information for the uh, earnings records, uh, and the, well, the payroll register and the earnings records. So then we're going to go back to our forms here. So the forms that we have are going to be the 940 and the 941s. Now, first we, we can look at this item here and say, okay, here's the, the 241, 201, which is total earnings. And we might think that that should match out to the 941s. But that's not necessarily the case. Let's go back to the 941s and see uh, if we can reconcile those items. So if we go to the 941s, we've got the wages and tips and other compensation. This is for uh, the third quarter. We're going to add up the four quarters of that number and see what it comes out to and see how we can reconcile that possibly to the year end 940. So if we uh, have the calculator here, we're going to say that the 941s add up to 91424.1 plus and then that's we're going to go to the uh, fourth quarter. So here's the fourth quarter 940 and we only have two quarters because that's when we started operations and we're going to pick up the 135909.9 and that gives us the 227334. Now if we go back to the 941 or the 940 uh, you can see it, it doesn't match. We've got the 241 206 versus the 227 334 so we we would say well where does this number come from why don't these two match up and where does this number come from this is the 941 number this is the 940 number this is what you would think would be the wages for the year this is going to be the wages uh, for the year for the 940 so if we if we go back to our data um, we're basically uh, saying that the the 940 data is going to be the total earnings so 941 206 so the 940 looks right remember the 941 though is really the fit earnings which means it's really the uh, total earnings minus in our case just the retirement plan if there was a qualified cafeteria plan it'd be minus uh, the the health insurance plan as well so really for q3 this is how it's calculated so it's the total earnings minus the 401k, same for 2.4. So uh, 227, 335 is what's on adding up the 940s. The difference then between what's on the 940 and the 941 is going to be what's in the 401k plan, the 13,871. So if we go back to the 940 and we say, okay, I can reconcile this to the 941s, the difference should be the 401k plan that could give us you know some peace of mind we know exactly what the difference is there the next things we can do is go to our 941s and we can reconcile the amounts well from our federal income tax we can add them up and make sure that they reconcile to our worksheet so our federal income tax withholdings are going to be the 17003.26 for our 941 this is quarter three 941 and if we go to the 941 for quarter four, 941, we have the withholdings line three, 
plus 25212.4, 4215.66. That should match what is on our form here for um, FIT, 4215.66, looks good. It should also be reported on the W3 for FIT. So if we go to the W3 for FIT, then we should also find the 42.215.66 for the W3. So then if we go back to the 941s, uh, note that, that the 941s are really reporting FIT, Social Security, Medicare, and that's also reported on um, the, the W3. So we can go back and forth and check those off. The 940 only is reporting FUTA tax. So then if we go to Social Security wages, again for the two time periods, we're gonna say that this is the 941 for the third quarter. We're gonna add up the FUTA wages. So that's gonna be this 96973.5 plus, and then we'll go to the fourth quarter. So this is the fourth quarter, 941, and we'll add up the plus 97632.5 gives us the 194606. Okay, so that's what should be on our report for the year on our register. I'm going back to our register for OASDI wages as 194606. And it should also be on the W-2. If we go back to the W-2, 190 or W-3, summing up all W-2s, 194,606. Let's go back to the register and we'll, we'll now we'll verify the social security um, amount that was paid. And this one could be a little tricky. So we're back on 941 third quarter and we're picking up the amount of payment. So that's gonna be social security paid 12024.71 plus the fourth quarter. If we go to the fourth quarter, so this is the fourth quarter 941. Oh, I deleted it. So let's, let's add this up 12106.43 for the fourth quarter plus, and then we'll go back to the third quarter. which is 12024.71, 24131.14 social security that was withheld. If we go back to our worksheet, we're gonna say that we have social security and we say, hmm, I don't see that number here. I don't see it here. And the reason is this is twice that number. So if we wanna find either half of it, which is what we'll see on the W2 and the W3, we're gonna take that and divide it by two. And there's our 126557. And if we go back to our worksheet for our W3, there's our 126557. So remember, you got to divide it out because the 941 reports both employer and employee portion. So then we'll go to the uh, Medicare. If we go to the 941s, again, 941 third quarter, we're looking at the Medicare here. So if we go to the Medicare for the third quarter, wages, Medicare wages, 96973.5 plus, and then we're going to go to the fourth quarter here. So this is the Medicare wages. So we're saying 144232.5, 241.206. If we go back to our worksheet, we're going to say the Medicare is the total wages that we had. So I'm going to go to the right just a little bit. So there's the 241206. And then if we go to our W3, that should match out here, 241206. Now we'll go to the amount withheld, Medicare tax withheld. So if we scroll back over here for the fourth quarter, so I mean third quarter again, 941, Medicare tax withheld is going to be 2812.23 plus and then go to the fourth quarter so we're picking up the fourth quarter of 4182.74 
699467. Back to our worksheet. So the Medicare, again, we might say, hmm, I don't see that uh, for the Medicare. We only see the 3497. That's because this is both employer and employee portion. If we divide it then by two, there's the 349749 about. If we go to the W3, we see there's the 349749. Uh, so there's, there's how we can basically tie out the W3s, the, the 940 as best we can, and uh, the 941. Of course, the same information down here on the payroll register should be the accumulation of the data uh, on the earnings records as well. And we verified that with these green zeros. So those two tie out if we add up the earnings records. Uh, the same totals should add up for total earnings and net pay and the withholdings as with the payroll uh, register. And of course, we use these earnings registers to make the W-2s and W-3s or W-3, one W-3 and the W-2s and the W-3.